The National Wild Turkey Federation of Oklahoma presents Okie Wild, hunting and fishing Native America and the world. One of America's speediest mammals thrives in the flat open country of Western United States of America. With huntable numbers and a healthy population across Northwest Oklahoma, the pronghorn antelope is one of the most popular big game animals to hunt. Today, three Okies in the wild travel to Wyoming in search of these elusive, tasty critters of the plains. Justin White. It's always been on the bucket list. Let's go. Chad Brinson and I. You believe that? <laughs> Hit the barbed wire. Go on a ding high during the rut in hopes of filling our tags with a Wyoming pronghorn animal. With nothing to hide behind the flat, open country of Wyoming. Our guide led us in the wrong direction, and I, I don't know what to do with it. Putting on a spot and stock will be demanding. Find out how demanding it is. You win with it. Nowhere else but Okie Wild. Television. Oki Wild, hunting and fishing Native America and the world. There's birds all around here. This is beautiful country. Now we got us a trophy. That's what I'm talking about. He decided to come out at the last minute. So worth it. Look at that bug. Here comes a bug. It may have seemed like a simple historical footnote <laughs> in the passage of time but something about the person or the event or something about the spirit inside the open Ooh, wild, baby. <laughs> oh, wild. has touched people's hearts and their stories live on. From Boy City to the Kayamishi Mountains and everywhere in between. These are the Chronicles of Okies in the Wild. Look at the hooks on this guy. Good job, friend! Woo! 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 Have fun yet? Oh, baby. This segment of Okie Wild Television is brought to you by the Automax Automotive Group. Automax, where the deals are automatic. The Call Lake Association. Call Lake. Come visit Nature's Playground. Fan Collector Call. Turkey Talking Technology. Rocky Ridge Power Sports and Outdoors in Ada, Oklahoma. Your off-road adventure starts here. And by the Antler Shed Deer Blinds. Quality Deer Blinds. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Okie Wild. My name is Bo Newsom, and everyone here appreciates you for tuning in. Today we're in beautiful Eastern Wyoming where we're gonna go on an antelope hunt with good friends Chad Brinson, Justin White, and myself. We're gonna be hunting with Jerry Harding with TY Outfitters and does he have the antelopes? Now this place is pretty flat, but there are some high points. So we're gonna be spotting from higher elevations, finding antelope that we wanna take, and putting on a stock. So have a seat and check out today's episode of Okie Wild. It's always been on the bucket list, let's go. Oh, it was fantastic, man. There was nothing but smiles and high fives. Good friend of ours, Chad Brinson, calls me up. He says, man, let's go to Wyoming and kill us an antelope. Let's do it. Kaboom! I'm scared. Oh, I just see an antelope all over the place. Yeah! Yeah! 
you're starting to see a few a few other a few deer and a few antelope here and there and Bo's gonna kill another antelope. Chad's chasing his first antelope, and I'm chasing my first antelope. We can't wait. 90,000 acres, there's antelope everywhere. Where do you start? So we're driving up, and the first thing that hits me is there's no cover. They asked me if I wanted to, if I wanted to shoot first, and I, I passed. I'll feel more comfortable after seeing how it's done, and, and then we started seeing antelope. Man, I want to get an antelope on the ground. So you're first. I'll take it first. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. We spotted a couple of nice bucks, and and Chad chimed in and and said, "Man, if nobody wants to take one of these bucks, I sure will." I uh, I don't want to strike out. That's what's going through my mind. Yeah, we're pumped and excited, ready to go. See what happened to us there when we get here. Yeah. Man, the guys just gotta, just gotta be good, throw the gun. Be good. They're go. gonna be a lot happier looking at us at about 1,200 yards. Yeah. Than yep. 300. Yeah. That's well, they ain't come out, so. Ah, oh, they'll be here all day. They're not gonna leave their home range till we really get after them. Stick around, Okie Wild will be right back. And now it's time for the calendar of events for the Oklahoma chapters of the National Wild Turkey Federation. The National Wild Turkey Federation of Oklahoma. Conserve, hunt, share, and join your local chapter today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Automat. Automax, 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 Collector calls not responsible for attacks by large wild gobblers while using the triple T's. Welcome back to Okie Wild. I've never killed an antelope, obviously, so anything, you know, with horns is gonna be a trophy to me, but this was a good one. He's got good prongs. I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of sprayed out a little bit. And you don't normally see that. And it made this buck have some really cool character. And the guide said, you know, we can hunt all day. We may not see one this good. And so I, you know, I'm on, I'm, I'm ready and geared up. We hiked around uh, and, and kind of used the terrain uh, as our advantage. We got up to within, oh, a couple hundred yards of this, this buck that Chad wanted to take. Okay. 
There you go, there you go. Right above here. Overshot. Yeah. You need to just kind of middle, upper third of the body. A couple, about three inches lower. I can't stay steady. I can't stay steady. Bring the sticks up. I missed. I, I got buck fever. Dad gum it. And I, it's just a sick feeling. I want you to feel, but that's a great buck. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> Strike one. And I could tell he was disgusted, but... You know, that's what happens. I mean, the wind is blowing 25 miles an hour. If we've all done it, you hunt long enough, <laughs> Chad, I mean, it's just, buddy, hang in there. There's another shot around the corner. We're gonna get back on him if we can. What's that? <laughs> First miss out of the way. Now we can, now we can go get... Everybody patted me on the back, said it's fine. You know, kind of laughed, gave me a little hard time. These antelope, they're not as big as white-tailed deer, which is, is certainly what Chad is used to hunting. Um, these antelope are deceiving, especially out at two or 300 yards away. He goes on, we get up, we kind of regroup a little bit. Coming back around, we notice that he's went into this other little hole. We found some, some great uh, elevation and, and was able to, to put another stock on it. Typically, it's hard to do. You can't, you know, regroup on an antelope that you uh, shot and missed. So, but we did it. You, once again, use the terrain to our advantage and get behind, you know, just some small hills. There's nothing out here. There's no trees, nothing to hide behind. We got up on the antelope, got set up. He's coming up running this way. Now he's standing right there looking at us by himself. By himself, okay. There you go. Yeah! I mean, he put on a good shot and the antelope just he went the down. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Unfortunately, I don't think I did a really good job of getting on him and communicating with Chad. I didn't want to mess up his hunt. I was not ready for the, for, with the camera. And so, I, as you could see on film. Being on film, I didn't think to say, hey, is somebody on him? Um, and I didn't wait to get the okay to shoot. And so I put it behind his shoulder yeah. and I shot and he dropped. And Trust me, he fell straight down. This is Chad's first antelope buck. It's Chad's first antelope, and a great antelope it is, buddy. There was nothing but smiles and high fives. That's what we came for, right That's there, what buddy. we came for, man. I was feeling a little bummed when he uh, kept saying how good a buck he was. All right, Chad. Heck yeah. Man. Good little buck right Heck there, yeah. Heck yeah. Dude. Man, that right there is awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah. Him, get him on that. Man, <laughs> Jerry, right appreciate there. that, man. Hey, congratulations, hey. my friend. Thanks, man. That's what it's about right there, isn't it? Hey, that's what we came up here for. Glad to get you out here with Uncle Wild and, and Terry. And uh, he put us on the antelope. Yeah. Well, I didn't think we were going to get him again. We had a good shot at him at 250 yards yeah. and, and uh, kind of goofed that one up. And, uh, and Jerry, hey man, he, uh, he put us over the top here and about, what was it, 80? 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 yards. yards. You can't beat that. That's no, as close as going to get with that We came over that hill and it was, uh, that's what I needed. It was, uh, that's what I had the butterflies going. That's what I needed was a, was a nice, uh, a nice confident shot. The redemption, he, I mean, a redemption one shot. shot, he just, he smoked the ground. Heck yeah, yeah, he didn't, he dropped right there in his tracks. That's, that's <laughs> as good as it's gonna get, man. That's I, great. Man, if only, if only other hunting was like this, man, this is, this is awesome. I mean, it's just, that's beautiful, man. He just, he gonna, he's gonna eat good too. Yeah, he is. Looking forward to getting some meat in the freezer. Uh, let's get him in the truck. Let's, let's get him get in the truck. Well, let's go get him in the so truck. And congratulations. Thanks, man. Buddy. Appreciate it, bud. Thanks. That was awesome. That was awesome. Let's get let's get Justin a bud. Let's go. Let's go get the truck. Yep. 
have the journey. Thanks, man. You got, got a leg? This segment of Okie Wild Television is brought to you by Ariat Footwear and Apparel, PSC Archery, Precision Compound Bow Performance. Get one today at Rocky Ridge Power Sports and Outdoors in Ada. BDC Gun Room. Great guns, great people, great service. State Farm Insurance. Call Eric Ledoux today. And by Carcass Tag. You bag it, you tag it. My name is Levi Garrett with Rocky Ridge Power Sports. We look forward to many years of serving you and your off-road needs. We carry a full line of new and used Polaris ATVs and side-by-sides. Polaris Rangers, Razors, Sportsmans, Aces. And our parts and service department is second to none. At Rocky Ridge Power Sports and Outdoors, we sell the world's first zero-turn tracked mower, Altos. You can check out our archery and outdoor gear department with a full line of PSC compound bows, top-of-the-line arrows, accessories, and outdoor gear and apparel Rocky Ridge Power Sports and Outdoors is your place to shop when you're on the hunt. Don't forget to stop by RockyRidgePower.com. At Rocky Ridge Power Sports and Outdoors in Ada, your off-road adventure starts here. The National Wild Turkey Federation is committed to more than just saving the habitat. We are also committed to saving the hunt with outreach programs that are designed to educate the next generation, inspire more women to become involved in the outdoors, and assist those with disabilities. We assure that our mission to restore the wild turkey population and save our outdoor heritage is both accomplished and carried on. For more info about these and other exciting events, contact your local NWTF chapter today. Together, we can save the habitat, save the hunt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Automat. Automax, 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 Yeah, a big bucket. Wild. It's 9.30. I mean, it's, and it's, I mean, you couldn't beat that. We got a tag punch and it's 9.30. It's early. Still cool. Let's go find us another antelope. We immediately got back into the rig and went after Justin's buck. And it didn't take long for us to find a buck that he wanted. As we're moving around, we had drove past a, a some antelope earlier that morning that we weren't sure about, so we decided to go check on them. I mean, what, what is that, probably a thousand yards across there? Oh, yeah. And, I mean, half a mile. Yeah. But from right here, looking through the you know, good set of binoculars, I mean, that, that looks like a decent buck. You gotta at least try for it, right? Sure. Get a little closer look at him. That's it. So, we're gonna go back down here. He looked pretty tall. Yeah, he did. We got a couple good bucks down here in this little draw. To get up on them is going to be tough. We're, we, got, we, come, we spotted them from the other side. We come around and get up on this hill. We're, we've got two really good bucks spotted. Another antelope off to itself right here, but we're going to have to give them a minute and let them figure out what they're going to do. And it's kind of hard. They're kind of in the bottom of a bowl and there's not really much terrain for us to utilize at the moment. We're gonna get on them though.
Justin's up, and I, I couldn't be more excited. I have been wanting to see Justin put one in the, put one in an antelope, get one on the ground. I know he's never killed one before. He's had to do a lot of work filming people kill them, but it's Justin's time to get out there and enjoy himself and get behind a gun and, and put one on the ground. So everybody's excited. As you can see, we've got some big group of antelope out here in front of us. We came off this hill back behind us and uh, had them in a couple bucks in a small group over here and they just got spooky and they took off and they went and got in this big group and they've they've taken off and they've they've kind of since stopped over here a little bit Bo gets the camera Chad gets his binoculars I grab my gun guides he's like guys let's see he's up to this hill he should be over the hill you know a few hundred yards we'll see where he's at as we start easing up the hill the guy goes he's he's gonna come over the hill so we make another move and get set up You want to sit up right here and let him come on down in? Yep, we shoot through here to where the cattle ain't. As he comes over the hill, I get both tripods set up. He's going to come right out here in front of yep. us. Yep, yep. That's what I'm hoping for. I get my gun on him, I cock the hammer. I ask Bo, I said, you on him? Bo's like, yes. Bo, are you going to be on him? Yeah. Got a handle on him. Got an antelope right here. I'm on him. Got him. We're gonna have to let him get past all these cattle. And at that point, we kind of all realize that there's a bunch of cattle behind him. So even though he's within 150 yards and he's well within range, and he was within shooting range, 200 yards, we were all set up. I got him on camera. Uh, Justin had him through the crosshairs, but there were cattle behind him, and we did not want to take that shot. He's about a 180. He's right here. Seen. I wish he'd come down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot him right there. And so the antelope walks out, broadside, stands there, poised perfect, and Justin does the smart thing, doesn't shoot. One thing about it, if he starts walking back to the left, we can ease up over that hill. There he comes. Let him keep on coming. 135 yards. 135 yards. I'm gonna let him keep it coming. He's coming perfect, so. I'm not shooting, I'll tell you before I take a shot. As soon as he drops yep. down over that hill yep. a little bit, just kill him. You win to this. And now it's time for the calendar of events for the Oklahoma chapters of the National Wild Turkey Federation. The National Wild Turkey Federation of Oklahoma. Conserve, hunt, share and join your local chapter today and now ladies and gentlemen presenting automat automax 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 Wild TV would like to remind you to check us out on Facebook and give us a like. Find out about our interesting stories, hunting and fishing adventures with the Elkie Wild crew, and the latest postings and contests. You can win big. Also check us out at www.elkiewild.com. If you have a photo or video of your outdoor adventure, email it to us along with a brief statement about it. Who knows? Maybe you'll see it on Elkie Wild TV. True Recoil is 100% synthetic blend gun oil. Unlike traditional oils, True Recoil is molecularly structured to adhere to metal. This literally creates a barrier of protection for your gun or bow through any environment. Oil, waxes, and petroleum were used 100 years ago. True Recoil is a true proven CLP. That allows you to clean, lubricate, and protect your gun all in one simple step. 
making all other products a thing of the past. Engineered for lasting protection. For more information, visit trueproducts.com. Welcome back to Okie Wild. Justin had him through the crosshairs, but there were cattle behind him, and we did not want to take that shot. And that was a good move on Justin's part because uh, you got to be careful what your surroundings are. That bullet could have ricocheted and, and shot one of those cows, so we held off on shooting. You can only hold so long until, you know, those bucks get weary and just skedaddle out of there. Well, this one did. Didn't take us long to get back on him. You know, we didn't spook him that much. You want him? Where is he? It's the back one. I'm on him. You're on him? 250? Well, there you have it. What a wonderful day in eastern Wyoming. This antelope hunting is something else. You know, it's something that, that men, women, and children can do of all ages. It's fun to do. It's fun to put on stocks for these animals. It's fun to judge them from far distances and get up close to them. And maybe you realize that they're not quite the trophy you wanted, so you pass. Or maybe you get up on them and they're the big trophy that you really want to take. So tune in next week for the conclusion of our Wyoming pronghorn antelope adventure. Find out if we can ever get close enough for Justin to take this nice buck. You want him, Bo? <laughs> Plus, last but not least, it's my turn to hand over the camera and grab the rifle. Shooting a tiny strand of barbed wire at 170 yards requires patience, skill, and a little marksmanship. Let me tell you, that's all next week on Okie Wild Television. Well, we're about out of time. Be sure to tune in again next week for another exciting episode of Okie Wild. And from all of us here at Okie Wild, my name is Bo Newsom. saying so long for now. And who knows, maybe we'll just bump into you in the great outdoors. Taxidermy for Okie Wild provided by Southern Plains Taxidermy. Okie Wild Television is produced by Bo Newsom Productions Incorporated. Dude, good shot, man. Yeah! yeah.